What is good my people? Today you're going to learn how to build a bigger chest using calisthenics exercises that you can do at home. These exercises are perfect for beginners and will help you develop strength and size in your chest. So first we are going to start with the upper body squat aka dips. Begin by finding a stable surface like chairs or parallel countertops if you don't have dip bars. And then you want to lower your body until your elbows are at, at least 90 degrees. Then push yourself back up to the starting position. This exercise is going to give a great stretch on the chest and it's also going to target your triceps and your shoulders. Now if you're unable to do full dips at this very moment in time, you can start with negative dips. Basically you want to start at the top position and slowly lower yourself down for about 5 seconds if you can. Now this is an eccentric movement and it's really going to engage your muscles to help build the base level strength while still promoting growth. Even if you're not a beginner, this is a great way to finish a set of dips if you want to get some extra juice out of the set and you can't do the full motion anymore, just try doing some negatives and it's really going to help to build up your chest. Once you've progressed on from negative dips, you can try resistance band dips and what you want to do is secure a resistance band under your knees and perform dips as usual. This is going to help by assisting you to push yourself back up to the starting position but still requires you to work as well. You can progress this gradually by using lighter bands until it's not needed anymore. Now if you're struggling with all of those you can try chair dips, place your hands on the edge of a sturdy chair and walk your feet forward. Lower your body until your elbows are at least 90 degree angle and then push back up. This exercise is perfect for beginners and is a great starting point to help you progress into the other movements. Now again this exercise can be progressed by elevating your feet onto a surface and repeating the same movement. Next we have deficit push ups. You want to elevate your feet and hands onto a stable surface like books or blocks. This increases the range of motion and targets your chest muscles even more by allowing you to get a greater stretch down the bottom and increasing the distance you have to push back up. Now if you can't perform these just yet, I would recommend you know carrying on with normal push-ups on the ground and then you can gradually progress onto deficit push-ups. However, if you're still finding push-ups are a little too challenging, you can start with negative push-ups and what you want to do is start in a push-up position, lower yourself down slowly to the ground and this is really emphasizing the negative portion of the exercise. And when you reach the ground, reset to the starting position. This is great for building strength and size in your chest in the eccentric phase of the movement, allowing you to progress into a full push-up. And again, if you can already perform full push-up, but you want to get some extra reps in and you can't perform the full motion, try some negatives. Another exercise you can perform is isometric push-up holds. Now get into a push-up position and hold it at the midpoint for as long as you can. This exercise is great for building strength and endurance in your chest and the core muscles as well. Many people will overlook the importance of isometrics but don't make that mistake. Another push-up variation you can perform is incline push-ups. Place your hands on the elevated surface like a bench or countertop and perform push-ups. This angle puts more emphasis on your lower chest and again will help build into a full push-up and is a great exercise for beginners. Opposite to that is decline push-ups where you're going to elevate your feet onto a sturdy surface like a chair or bed and then perform push-ups. This angle targets the upper part of your chest and is another great push-up variation which requires you to work your core muscles even more. Make sure that you're engaging those core muscles and not letting your hips sag to get the full benefit of this movement. Next up is Archer Push-Ups, a fantastic unilateral variation which is really going to challenge your strength and stability. You want to start in a wide push-up position and lower yourself to one side while keeping the other arm straight. Change sides to work each side of your chest evenly and this exercise is great for building into a one arm push-up. Make sure in the Archer Push-Up that you're coming all the way down and pushing all the way up to get that full range of motion and the muscle is getting the full amount of work. I would highly suggest that you incorporate these calisthenics exercises into your routine to build a bigger and stronger chest at home 
and remember to focus on proper form and gradually increase the intensity as you progress. Stay consistent and you'll see results in no time. Stay active, stay healthy. I'm out. Peace.